Welcome to Waffle TV. I'm Sean McDonald, and across from me, I've got YouTube sensation Damien Slash. How are you? Good, yeah. Yeah. Been How good. are you enjoying the fringe so far? Uh, it, um, well, it's just started. Just, yeah. I'm feeling the, the energy. Right you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that kind of buzz with all the other. And then, so yeah. you're now here with the show Uberman, and um, based on your description, it's a performance of characters, voices, impressions, everything. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I do. I'm doing six characters, and uh, who, are, you tell, who, are this, who are these characters? Well, I've got a mythical shaman. I've got a TED Talker kind of guy. I'm a media okay. creative. I've got a like a, 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 a sort of elite gamer, online gamer who's giving you know, a <laughs> gaming basics class that yeah, turns yeah. into something else altogether. I've got a mineral water critic. I've got a gambling addict, and they're all kind of. The little kind of yeah. and jets. How, how do you, are you a method actor? Do you, do, do, you, do you practice the trade beforehand? Did you draw material based on what you've seen online? Or are these actually all of your personalities? No, well, that's interesting. I think a lot, to a lot of it, it does actually come out of me. Like I, I discovered I had this fetish for mineral water, which then led <laughs> to the. And I was like, that's so weird. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I turned it into a pretentious character and then Why I not? also game a lot and that tended to. So that, they're, they're kind of versions of people I could have been, basically. Yeah. You know, if and I'd then, been slightly. One piece of DNA slightly different. Yeah, than that like that's that. really good. So you feel like these are a part of you. These are Damien Slash is also all these other people as well. That's right. I mean, he's the um, the, the the kind of consciousness in the background, and yeah, he, he is all of those people. Like that I'm him, and he is them. And then you do have a, a massive following on YouTube, and now you're kind of taking it to the stage. How is how's that conversion going? Well, I suppose I have a kind of cult status. On that. Yeah. I suppose like 11, 12,000 subscribers. It's not too bad. It, I think it's, it's a nice amount because it's just a nice little audience that people mm -hmm. discover. And I don't push it too much. I don't yeah, make very yeah. good of content. But I've still managed to, managed to harness yeah. one. And, and I, you know, I was doing drama before mm -hmm. at university. Then I did music and then went into full-time work. And then I went back to this. And uh, that's and then I kind of built it up over the last couple of yeah, years yeah. to this point. It's taken me a long point to kind of put it all together and work out how to do it by trial and error. And now, it, now I suppose it is a character comedy show, and I'm, I'm, I've, turned, I've grown them into something a little bit more interesting yeah. and a bit more theatrical. And That's it's very, very different to a, a YouTube video. Yeah. And when you're advertising, are you on the mile in character, kind of flyering, or how, how are you publicizing your show? Well, I might well uh, yeah. do that. Just uh, give it a shot, see what happens. The problem is they're, they're quite detailed costumes, so mm -hmm. you, I just look like I am them. So and how do you get yourself in and out of these character heads? I couldn't imagine going from like a gambler to a uh, gamer. Well, a lot of it comes from, I'm, I'm, I work as a voiceover artist. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Minions, I, so yeah. tell me more about that. Banana, huge fan. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't even seen the film. Yeah, I actually haven't seen it. I've been too, though. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we should go see it together. Maybe. I know, yeah. <laughs>
youthful era and vacant woe and all this kind of thing is and got his face all squished down like this. Uh, you know, kind of Game of Thrones kind of thing. And then uh, uh, who's next? Uh, oh, the next was like a garage book review thing. I'm not doing a rap as uh, Ian McHugh the whole time. Yeah. So I'm not doing a, f like a f one minute rap as if I am Ian McHugh in, <laughs> speaking like this. Do you feel yeah. me? So, and then the last one is, um, and the last one is the Mineral Water Review Show hosted by yeah, Piero Pisswall, PhD, co-founder of the European Artisan Drinking Water Foundation. And that's Very more of a kind of Michael Howard kind of posh, you know. Evian, what are your, what are your thoughts? Favorite, what's favorite Evian favorite? Spray Edition is uh, <laughs> one of my favorites. Uh, Got to be careful though, because they have a tendency to blow up in yeah. your face, much like a mine. Careful, careful. Yeah. Man, I'd love to have all these people over for dinner. It should be great chat. <laughs> to, to, to enjoy a couple of drinks. Um, do you have any final word, words of wisdom you want to say to the audience? Words of wisdom. Um, uh, in life, um, uh, it's, 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 you've sprung that on me. I mean, I, don't smoke. Don't that's smoke. That's a really good one. And don't gamble. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't smoke, don't, don't gamble, gamble. Uh, don't drink too much. And. Uh, yeah, always carry a pocket knife with you if you're using lots of gaffer tape. Yeah, why not? Get involved. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for tuning in to Waffle TV. We'll see you next time.